And the Austin American Statesman reports that after women took the majority on the city council, the staff was warned to expect more questions and longer talks. The warning came in a controversial seminar on working with women. A city official this morning is on administrative leave. Elaine Cajano of our digital network CBSN has the details. Women find something to bite hard on as you listen to this story. Elaine, good morning. <laughs> good morning. That's exactly right. The training seminar sounded innocuous enough called the changing dynamics in governance, women leading in local government. But things got dicey when the man addressing the group started implying that women in power don't prepare for meetings and ask a lot more questions than men do. This was a city council meeting like no other, a press conference by women who are part of a historic new female majority on Austin City Council, angered that a training session was held about how to handle women. I have to question the culture that allowed such a training session to be considered. They don't process things at the same way. This was the training session in question. Jonathan Allen was invited to speak because he was a city manager in Lauderdale Lakes, Florida, where he dealt with an all-female city commission. He said women often don't bother to read the research they're given. So when they say, Mr. City Manager, could you tell me how much that capital improvement project cost? My sarcastic response would be, Madam Commissioner, if you look at paragraph four, you would be able to find that information. Allen made a comparison to how he patiently answers his 11-year-old daughter's repeated questions. And then I said, aha, that's how I have to deal with the commission. We ask too many questions. We don't understand numbers. Um, it, it, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> Delia Garza was elected to the Austin City Council in 2014. I would be just as offended if it was how to work with Hispanics. I was stunned. I was speechless and stunned. Mr. Allen and his co-presenter at the seminar issued a statement. If our overall intent and message was not clear during the presentation, we sincerely apologize for any miscommunication. The city manager, whose office organized the seminar, insists their intentions were good. Still... It was the wrong thing to do, wrong, inappropriate message, and it failed to meet up. Uh, with our values. This is just, it, we messed up. This wasn't the best training seminar, but what it's creating now is a discourse about gender issues. So ultimately, I think that there's going to be a positive outcome from it. The city manager echoed those sentiments. He told CBS News this failed seminar can serve as a foundation for some really constructive conversations about sensitivity and about diversity. Well, we certainly need that, but this is not the best way to get there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. And they need some better vetting, for sure, yeah. because clearly oh, this gosh. was not something that they looked at beforehand. But, Charlie, you've gone through some lady training, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 And Charlie gets an A++. He doesn't, yeah. need, right. he doesn't need any training. Yeah. I've got right. lots of questions for Mr. Allen. He is a Saturday night live skit <laughs> waiting to happen. Oh, yeah, right. Someone true. remind this man it's 2015, please. You, know, you can but, always tell a lot about a man by the number of women he works with. Charlie's always had a female executive yeah, exactly. producer. He worked with women, yeah. 75% of my staff has been women as long as I've had a program. And dare I say you're smarter for it. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and yeah. happier. And yeah, happier. happier. There you go. Thank you, Elaine. That was great. That was really great.